Hi guys, it's Belle here and I am back with week two of the Marguerite Miller collage challenge, as I call it, weekly assignments challenge. I will leave the links as always down below to Marguerite Miller's YouTube channel and to her Etsy store where you can purchase the digital prompts from. So here's my little index card. Um, I'm using index cards five by three this year, doing something a little bit different and uh, tea staining them as well. And I we use this side. And so today's one is an object with jewellery or adornment, a light source you find interesting, something stapled, something found in the garden, a receipt and black ink stamping. So the first thing we're going to do is the stamping bit because that's going to work as the adornment as well. And I'm actually going to stamp on this um, vintage piano music roll paper. Um, so that's what I'm going to do on there. So I've got this. It's a Lavinia stamp. I don't remember the name of this one. And it is this cute little fairy on a snail. And I'm going to use my stays on jet black ink. I'm really going to try and ink this really well. Because sometimes the stamps are brilliant, but sometimes I'm not the best. I need it on a really flat surface and I need to just really press that down so that it takes. So the thing we are going to adorn, the object, here's an image of what it should look like. The object is going to be this snail's mm, see that just didn't come out very well. So let me try that again. I wanted it with the black through it, but you know what? It doesn't matter. So I'm going to stand up to do this. Um, yeah, the object that I want to adorn is the snail's shell. That's what I'm after. Right, I'm really going to press down on this, guys. Really press down. And sometimes what I do, don't do this, it's not the best idea, but sometimes I just lift it over and really press all the edges. It may get a little bit blurred, but there we go. We have a better image. So that's our stamped image. And I am going to, I was going to cut her out, but do you know what? I think I'm going to tear around it. I think that'll work. Because there's lots of little fiddly bits. And I think tearing will work better. Like so. And she is going to go. Where is she going to go? I think here. We don't need all this at the bottom either. So I'm going to just tear that. And the first thing I want to do is I want to glue her down, but the light source that I find interesting is going to be a moon. And I've got a few options here. So this is um, the Mystical Ephemera book. I have a flip through of this on my channel. I will link that down below. So we have these tiny moons, which are cute, and they would work with the size of this card. Uh, where was the moon there? Oh, this moon. I like that one. And it's got the browns in it. So that's definitely an option. I had these beautiful ones with flowers, but I don't think, I think with this already taking up quite a bit of the card, I kind of just wanted it along here. And I don't know. I think that might be too big. Let me have a look at other options. We've got this orangey one. I think that's too orange. Oh, we got this one. Should we just choose this one, guys? This is a nice one. Let's choose this. So, yeah, I will leave the link to my flip through of that down below. So, I wanted this. It does have an edge to it, but that's okay. I think I'm going to put it. Let's get her back here. I 
think I'm going to put it kind of underneath like so. I'll cut this off and if I stick it onto something plasticky it can be used again. So I've got my moon there and I can even cut her a bit more or tear her a bit more so we can see more of the moon. Being careful not to get her little hand like so and bring the snail down brilliant so now i'm going to glue the snail on if i can find my glue oh there it is so that i can then adorn the shell because oh that's what like i said it says an object with jewelry or adornment so i'm going to adorn the shell of this beautiful snail um let's move it over this way a little bit like so okay so I have these oh, I have a whole bag of little stickies like too many too many realistically um, I have this beautiful one they're, but they're quite big I have these they could work possibly um, it's just a whole little bag of gems. I used to use gems all the time. Oh, I do like the greens and slight purples on there, though. It's smaller. We have this, but I kind of wanted to go around the shell. So not that one. Um, we have these lines. Now, they would work because I can manipulate them more around the shell, but they're not very bright, are they, guys? They're not very colourful. Oh, I have these beautiful ones, and it's got stars and things on it. Might use those. They're individual. Oh, we could even have, like, a little flower in the middle. And then gems around. Okay, let's just get a dawning, as they say, a dawning. Where are my tweezers? Okay, I can't find my tweezers. Okay, so this will just have to be as it is. So I'm thinking like a little flower or one of these. I've got a little green flower. I really like this, I think. So I think that's going to go in the middle of the snail's shell. And then what do I want around it? Like these are so pretty, but I think they're too big. And that might work. Unless I just put them in places. I really love the stars. Like, can have a couple of these. Are they on? Oh, they are on a strand. Okay, so I was a bit worried there that I was going to have to, like, individually cut. And I really did not want to do that. So I'm going to manipulate them around, which is the best thing of having them all on one piece of sticky. Oh, the snail's got the most beautiful shell. Okay, round like that. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to stop there. Oh, I could actually do it like that. And I want like a little one there. Another little one. Because so I've got some that are just strands. And that might be quite good. If I got rid of that star. Hold on. Because I feel like that's quite big, so the star's quite clunky next to it. Like so. And then maybe a bit more. Can't have too much pretty. Maybe just one more. Stick down, please. Or two more. Okay, guys. So, oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? Oh, it's just so pretty. I think it's pretty. 
so that's my object that's adorned um i have a little bit of music paper here because i was gonna add some interest with just a little bit of music paper just kind of down the side a little bit okay so i like that so let's glue that down because as i said i just wanted a little bit of interest um on the page and then what is it object light source something stapled oh yeah oh and a receipt okay so i have a receipt where's my receipt i need to find that i did grab one how funny is this i went to do well i don't know maybe you'll think that's not funny at all Belle. um i went to grab the bits and pieces for this and then realized it said a receipt and i mean a lot of places don't do receipts now do they they do it online um they send it through your email but we had just done a huge clear out of our like paperwork section and got rid of all our receipts and things and i was like oh no i need a receipt for my um collage today for my marguerite miller so i have this receipt from dunelm and it says the home of homes i mean we're not really going to see it but i like that it says the home of homes on it because I feel like the shell, the shells, the snail's shell is their home. Uh, most of this is going to be covered up anyway because, um, oh no, doing it on the wrong book. Because I'm actually going to put some leaves on here because it was giving me garden vibes, guys. It was giving me garden vibes and, um, that then made me pull out lots of my die cuts so we've got these and i'm just going to get sticking so yeah we're gonna stick these on it would help if i open my glue wouldn't it i mean realistically it would help yeah so this is a cute one um I don't know it is making it a little bit harder I have to admit when I'm finding things to go on to use and I'm thinking oh I could use that sticker or I could use that image out of a magazine when I'm finding things I suddenly have to go hold up is it going to fit on the index card size um so it is more of a challenge but that that's what I wanted guys I wanted a bit more of a challenge to um find these bits use maybe some smaller bits see what it's like a few years ago my friends and i did um index cards uh in inspiration index cards we called them and we were swapping bits and pieces or themes i think it was i can't quite remember now because it was quite a while ago we were swapping them and making index cards which i've then made into a little like journal um which uh, i'll leave that down below if you want to have a look but that's kind of what inspired me to use index cards this time one i had them um i picked them up second hand last year and two i thought okay i remember working on that size and it being challenging but also quite good fun um and i thought okay so let's let's do it again let's get the index cards out and work on them um and it's just good to change up the size of what you're working on. I mean, obviously, I say obviously, I don't know. We all have our favourite sizes of journals that we both work in or make or whatever. Um, but you can obviously work in different sized. I really love that one. It's all different inks and things. So, uh, yeah, you can work in different sized journals, but you're still theoretically often working on a journal page. So even if they're smaller you're working in a journal and I don't know I just wanted to challenge myself a little bit with this this year as it's my third year of doing it um 
I love working in journal, don't get me wrong. But yeah, I wanted to challenge myself a little bit. Okay, so we need to find the tab. I have this green one, which I thought would go really, really well. And I will need to write on it week two. So I've got my Posca pen here and I'm just going to write week. I think I only put the number two last time. So maybe, OK, I'm going to turn it around. And just write the number two. All right. Well, that was a bit silly, but it doesn't matter because it's only go. Oops. Craft a launch. Um, it's only going in. Do I want it above the moon, actually? With, so it's a bit of green over there. I might put the word there, although the word might go quite nicely there. Let's put it where the moon is. Or just over from the moon, because the other one says... Oh, let's move it there. And I'm going to staple here because it does say something stapled. So I'm going to staple on my tag. I do not have the Tim Holtz tiny attacher. So I just use my trusty old stapler. And that's stapled on. It's a bit wonky. It doesn't bother me. And as I said, I'm going to be adding words to all of mine this year. Sometimes I'm sure it will be on the prompt. But sometimes it won't be. Um, life is a grand adventure. Explore, dream, discover. Um, adventure awaits. I feel like because she's pointing with the snail. I, I feel like, you know, adventure awaits. Do I want it there or up here? I feel like I want it up here. Just there, like that. Let's have a look. I need to rip that a little bit and bring it down. And then where's my white gel pen? I just want to go around it a little bit so that it stands out. And I'm doing it wonky to add. Okay, so let's check that we've got everything, guys. An object with jewellery or adornment. So the object is the shell snail. And I'm pretty sure that is beautifully adorned. A light source you find interesting. The moon. I love the moon. Um, something stapled. So I've stapled the tab on. Even if it is at a wonky ang angle. Something found in the garden. We've got all the beautiful plants and snails. So both there. A receipt. The receipt's right here. And because of the green, it blends in with the garden. <laughs> and bonus black stamping. So this is stamped in black. I feel like this needs something. I don't know what this needs, but it needs it needs something. I don't know. There's ink around it as well in um, uh, walnut stain. Distress oxide. Let's ink around it. But I don't know. I feel like this needs something. I just don't know what it needs. So let me know what you think, guys. Let's add it to our little memory decks box. Can't wait till it starts getting fuller and they'll stop falling over. I did add a tab to last week's one. So we've got a welcome message. Adventure awaits. And this does look, the tab's just slightly out, so that's perfect. And then I'll do the next one. I'll try and move them along. So that is the two in there, guys. Very happy with those. I will be adding these to the back of the index card, so I remember what prompts were. Um, but I want to tea dye these first. So I'm going to tea dye these when I tea dye the rest. So don't forget to put in this hashtag so that you can see what everyone else is doing here and on Instagram. And that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. And, you know, leave comments down below. I love hearing what, um, I love reading all your comments. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll be back to do Marguerite Miller on a Monday from next week. Um, I just had a couple to get this one to catch up with. And wherever you are in the world, guys, I hope you're having 
lots and lots of crafty fun. Bye for now, guys.